So, the long-awaited arrival of summer is finally here. Yep, the mountains are melting and starting to show off. The wildflowers paint the landscape and oh, they smell so good. And the rugged forest is finally coming back to life. It's summer camping time in the mountains and we couldn't be more excited. Smell something good. Oh my. Coming along nicely. Woo. Whoa. Woo. <laughs> nice. All the good stuff. <laughs> 130 years after the first beer was poured, his great grandchildren have brought the iconic brew back. How's the local beer? Excellent. Is it good? Sheridan beer. Nice. From Sheraton, Wyoming. Sheridan, Wyoming. <laughs> So I know it doesn't look like it here on YouTube, but we have not been camping for five weeks. Been a minute. It's been too long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We um, did a two week trip over in Europe and then, yeah, it was like the weekend before and the weekend after we didn't do anything, just kind of getting ready for that trip. Catching up on the time zone. Yeah. Catching up on time zone has been crazy, but we're finally back in the camper. And it's crazy how five weeks changes the like landscape. It's green out. Mm, it's There's... beautiful. It was brown when we left and now it's green. Yeah, it's so beautiful and fresh feeling. So I feel like it's officially like the first like summer camping trip because wildflowers are out, all the grasses are green and it just feels like summer. It does. It does, yeah. yeah. So we are up in Wyoming this weekend camping. In Bighorn National Forest. Yep, we've never camped in this area. It's really laid back up here. Yeah, it's super chill right Very now. Chill. And we're actually going to be in Wyoming a lot this summer. We have a lot of upcoming trips, so it'll be fun. Can be in Yellowstone. <laughs> yep. Grand Teton. Yep. Yeah, yeah there's going to be a lot of Wyoming content coming up. So this is just the beginning. Stay tuned. We're just enjoying a chill first weekend back camping again, getting back into focus from being away five weeks. <laughs> getting back into the swing of everything. Yeah. There's Forgot things. a few things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how it goes. It's like five weeks is amazing how much you kind of get out of your routine. So yeah, let's go explore some more. Let's go. All right. <laughs> So there's a fire tower here in Bighorn that you can hike to. It's like 15 minutes. So whenever there's a fire tower hike, you gotta do it. <laughs> Bighorn National Forest has three scenic byways that run through it. Today we are traveling along the Cloud Peak Skyway. That's where most of these scenes and stops are located off of. We made it! Including this James Selvin lookout, which was built in honor of James, who died in the line of duty in 1937 while fighting the Blackwater Fire. We are dispersed camping right here in Bighorn National Forest because it's a national forest. There's lots of camping options here. It is mid-June. There's been a lot of sites here available still on a Friday night. It's been so quiet up here and such a beautiful area. It's like a little gem. 
But I just want to quickly mention a new feature that we have here on YouTube. So I did publish a community post about this, um, but we have memberships now available for our YouTube channel. And one of the perks with the membership is us giving you access to all the GPS coordinates to our dispersed campsites. Um, I get lots of people asking me about that either on Instagram, on YouTube comments, and I've just never wanted to share those. Um, I just didn't feel right giving that information away. I've never shared that information of the exact location. But since we now have the memberships on YouTube, I figured that would be a really cool perk for you guys if that is something you are interested in. You could definitely go see all the information. I made a little video about it. No pressure, our video content is still staying the same, but if you want that exclusive perk of knowing the campsite locations, then go check out the join button next to the subscribe button. The join button is where it lists all the information of two different options we have. So um, if you're interested, if you're a big boondocker like we are, check it out. But you guys, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's mosquitoes <laughs> swarming everywhere. <laughs> and they're biting. Thankfully, this is thick enough to keep them off my arms, but my leggings are pretty thin and they're not keeping the mosquitoes away. <laughs> so I'm not sure how much we're actually gonna hang out here um, tonight, but yeah, welcome to summer camping in the forest. <laughs> uh, but Vince is, I think, inside prepping dinner, so uh, let's go see what he's up to. So we just got back from our Euro trip. Um, we went to Belgium and fell in love with this beautiful beer right here. Delirium Tremens. I didn't realize Belgium was such a beer capital, but it's the best beer I've had yet on any of our vacations or even in the States. Like, I love it. It's so good. But we're sitting in the camper and there's a river that's flowing right from our campsite. You can hear it. You can't see it. There's a little trail that goes down to the river and we're watching all the mosquitoes trying to get in. They're swarming our camper. Tonight we're back in the camper kitchen making some Szechuan chicken stir fry. So our ingredients, we have cashews, Szechuan peppercorns, garlic, ginger, scallions, green onions, some leeks, celery, onion, red pepper. And here's our chicken that is marinating, a little peanut oil, and then a mixture of the Asian sauce. This is some um, soy sauce, hoisin, some oyster sauce. All right, there's the finished product. Nice bed of white rice and our Szechuan chicken. Looks perfect. So this is our first Chinese meal in the camper and <laughs> it's, it smells so good in here. It's a bit complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's, <laughs> it's, it's worth like it. one of those meals that might be worth it. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna try some chicken. Mmm, it's just like at home. Mmm, Vince makes the best Chinese stir fries. <laughs> good to hear. A win. So we had our very first rain, thunderstorm, lightning show in our camper last night. Um, it started about three in the morning, um, very loud, <laughs> raining real hard. Didn't get much sleep after three in the morning. Uh, but yeah, we're on the road, it's still raining pretty hard. But you know what, we're gonna roll with it. We're just gonna enjoy the day. I'm actually kind of enjoying the rainy moodiness right now. Um, Cause I think we didn't get much sleep. We're kind of tired and we're just kind of kind of chill mode, you know what I mean? So now we're gonna head north and loop back through Bighorn Forest. Um, so we're gonna enter through Shell and gonna go see some waterfalls and we'll see what else we can see on our rainy day here in Bighorn. <laughs> Feet. We're just wearing our regular shoes. My socks are wet from the top. <sighs> we have seven moose in front of us now. 
We've seen nine moose in about five minutes. <laughs> Just keep coming. They just keep coming out. Wow. So now here's six more just up the road. What is this? Like a moose farm here? Oh my gosh. They're in the wildflowers. There's so many moose everywhere. So we're at what? How many moose now? Like. I lost count. <laughs> I lost count too. <laughs> We have officially seen 16 moose within five minutes. Oh, this is not looking good. <laughs> so this is the bighorn forest where we're in. Um, we're right where that pin is right now. And we knew it was gonna rain today, but it's literally been raining since three o'clock this morning and we're like six hours from home. We really don't want to have a non-sleepless night, so I think this is telling us something. I think it's time to head home. <laughs> we're cutting it short, which is a really big bummer. Um, we were gonna go to Porcupine Falls too, that's another waterfall area, but I mean, I don't want to get wet. That was like a 0.8 mile hike to that waterfall. Um, so, really sad. We got rained out. <laughs> but it is what it is. 